Hello baby crews and welcome back to my channel. It is time for some more queer memes. We love the queer memes. We need the queer memes. So let's go. Wow, how did you get like that? Well, every time someone says I haven't found the right person yet, I do one push up. Holy, listen, it's this on a constant basis. Or the whole when people find out you're single, it's always like, oh, don't worry, you'll find someone. Or, you know, we could encourage people in general, like even if you're not aromantic, maybe encouraging people to be okay living their life on their own and being like not being codependent on another person because that's the only reason you can be or like the only way you can be happy might be a good idea, you know? Some art. I'm gonna have quite quite a good amount of art in this video, I think. Um, a soul dragon. Kind of a mix of the arrow and the ace colors. It's really cute. It's cute, so I wanted to include it. Wait. It's all altruist attraction? Always has been. So true. It is so confusing. But first of all, uh, for those who don't know, I'm gonna add <laughs> the definition here actually. Uh, altruist attraction is an attraction and desire for an emotional closeness with a person that exists in between romantic and platonic feelings. Really? There's... Because there's a platonic, like the platonic word for crush is squish, which just sounds really cute. But a mesh? Mesh somehow sounds less cute. I'm sorry, squish is way cuter. But anyways, there you go. But it's so confusing. Because like... How do you know? Because whenever you ask like people who aren't aromantic, it's like, how do you know you want to date someone and not be friends with them? Because I've always had the hardest time telling. Like I always thought I had crushes, but then I was like, wait, no, actually, actually, I just really want to be friends with you. It's kind of, it's a thing. But how do you, because the only answer you ever get is like, oh, you'll just know. What do you mean I'll just know? Because you just know really isn't helpful. Because maybe I will never know what that's like. I don't know. Who knows? It's weird. <laughs> My friend, me, who's tired of explaining what Aero Ace means for the 20th time this week, <laughs> was posted with a caption of, maybe I'm just bad at explaining, but I feel like unless you're one of those people that when asked to explain again, explains it the exact same way. If you come up with like different ways of explaining, at some point they'll have to get it, right? Or if they don't, then it's really not on you anymore, really. But you know those teachers that always explain it the exact same way again, which just wasn't helpful? Hate it, don't do it. <laughs> I gave up my free time to animate. You haven't my right person yet, that's just the face. Oh, it's not real. The A in LGBTQIA stands for ally. Asexuality and aromanticism is a mental illness. Hmm, a phobia detected. Mm, zoom. Post it with a caption of remember to use the arrow and ace rings to obliterate a phobia. Yes. Do it. Just do it. Yeah. Uh, some more art? A wallpaper? I'm not sure. It is really cute. <laughs> I like you a lot. It's a pun, but I will forgive the pun just because it is so incredibly cute. Like, I really like the art style of, like, having just, like, the flag, but, like, as a painting. Like, you know, like you have on the left and the right with the A row and the ace flag. But just with the, with the button with the axolol on it as well, it's just so cute. Me. Hello, I would like to order one cool, fun, aromantic, and or asexual character that I can relate to. Media. Uh, sure. Here's a sociopath. Me. Uh, uh, no. Uh, oh, wait. Did you want one emotionless nerd? Here. Uh, no, that's, that's not what I... Ah, sure. Here's one devout religious celibate. Me. Please. We just, we just, uh, we just want relatable, well-written characters that we can relate to. They just say relatable characters we can relate to. Anyways, you know what I mean. Because so often you have characters that are just not canonically a raw ace that we just claim either way until at some point you just get this really forced romantic storyline which just sucks. Don't do it. 
Just please give us good representation. That's all we want. <laughs> My Acepec ass trying to figure out what the hell kind of attraction I'm feeling for someone I really like spending time with. I... I feel this on a way too deep level right now, so, um, yes. I really like the at the frogging bullfish <laughs> tag at the bottom, what the hell. Uh, we're moving on. <laughs> um, just had to include it for the sake of it, because asexual people are valid, asexual rights matters. I can't talk. And I would just like to add that aromantic people are obviously also valid. I just didn't find the one... I mean, I didn't specifically look for it, but it didn't come across the one for aromantic people, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> Some more flag, because I really like these types of flags, because for some people it really helps. I think I talked about sublabels before, of, like some people find it like very irritating, but for some people, having labels and having sublabels really helps, because it kind of helps them explain themselves to themselves mostly really um because i really like these flag where you have like the romantic or something attraction in the middle as well of like because it kind of it's kind of cute like i like the optic of it and it's just cute i really don't like the a row and the ace flag next to each other because they have a different amount of straps though i'm just gonna say that i don't like that because it's just very uneven and it it, it looks weird but apart from that, I really like it. I just shouldn't look at it too long. Ah yes, someone very smartly created a video titled The Worst Animator Comes Out As Aeroes. Honestly, I do not watch Jaden animations. Like, this video is the only videos of theirs that I actually watched because, I don't know, someone like, I think another YouTube mentioned it and I just checked it out because I was like, hmm, why not, right? It's Arrow Ace, I gotta check it out. And it's really cool, and they explain it really well. So, yeah, why would you... Honestly, doing anything on YouTube probably gives you the potential for people to make, like, videos about you of being like, oh, well, they did this thing that I don't like, like, dude. Dude. Why? Anyways. <laughs> I don't even want to know what they say in the video, to be honest. I can't imagine that's gonna go well. I also don't know how long it is, but... Anyways... <laughs> the idea of being married is so weird. Like, what if I'm having a sad moment late at night and I just want to cry in bed and then there's just some guy there? Right? Honestly, having to share the bed with someone on a constant basis still seems like the worst idea ever. Why would you do it? Because, like, you know, if you, like, sometimes sleep with someone in the same bed, that's, like, fine. But I sleep way better if I have my bed to myself. Because no one's breathing or moving, so it's fine. But having to share the bed with someone on a constant basis is so annoying. Why? Legit, even if I would get married at some point, I am all for separate bedrooms. You know, so you can share the bedroom if you want, obviously. You know, when you both feel like it. But... If you don't, you can just, like, have your own bed. It seems preferable, you know? <laughs> now, this one I just thought was cool. It's just cool, so I had to include it. It's been forever since I watched Star Wars, but... Honestly, why not? Okay, just because you haven't found the right person doesn't mean you will. Now, for, like, someone who isn't asexual, aromantic, this might actually seem like a threat of kind of a, honestly, there's just no hope for you kind of insult. But yeah, it doesn't mean you will find the right person. It doesn't mean you have to find the right person. And it doesn't even mean you have to believe there is a right person. Because personally, it seems weird. The concept of just like having one person that you're meant to be with just seems really, really weird. When your friends remember to invite you to watch dating shows, because they know you're here for the aesthetic and the drama. Clink, clink. Well, I personally wouldn't want to, because I get so annoyed at it. Please don't invite me. Like, if you want to watch something else, please invite me, but don't, don't invite me to watch dating shows. But listen, if you want to watch it, that's cool. 
and you should know who you can invite to that type of thing and who you don't. So have fun. <laughs> Some more art. It's a cat ghost. It's really cute. It's really cute. I like it. Uh, I have the same in aromatic and asexual. They're all very cute. They all have different facial expressions and it's really cute. Okay, to be fair, we once again have a comment. We don't have the actual post and honestly it was about asexuality, that's all I know, but asexual isn't a thing. Examine what those people state versus what they actually do. It's the absence of sexual attraction, but in the same breath also go asexuals have and enjoy sex. Okay, so what about the people they're having sex with? You're telling me that they're using their bodies, enjoying themselves, but still experiencing no attraction? Who would consent to that other than someone with a degradation kink? Imagine a guy leaning over and whispering, Oh, by the way, please understand, I am in no way physically attracted to you, while balls deep inside of you. How could you not feel like a human flashlight at that point? It's literally the same thing fuckboys do with the insert brown paper bag joke. Nobody should be giving validity to a woke version of the same type of behavior. Honestly, what the hell? What the hell? How is that the same thing? Because fuckboys still just objectify people, mostly women, yeah, uh, and just look at them like actual walking human flashlights. Asexuality is kind of the opposite of that. It's like, hey, I enjoy having sex because it feels good and then it I mean obviously not gonna go around and lying to people and be like well hey I think you're super hot you just I don't know find someone you vibe with or something I don't know but it's literally the opposite no one no asexual is out here looking at someone being like hey listen I just I just want to use you as a human flashlight so let's go <laughs> like who does that but it's so weird it's so weird. What are you talking about? Literally, if you view someone as a human flashlight, it literally means you're objectifying them. And asexual don't. I'm not saying no asexual has ever done that, obviously, because too many people are asexual. You know, if you have a group of people that's large enough, you're always gonna find assholes. But literally, what the hell are you even talking about? Anyways, moving on. You're in Huddy M's? I'm in my freaking PJs. Night night time. I am very sleepy. It's my bedtime. <laughs> Sleep over relationships, I guess. <laughs> A group of people talking about relationships and stuff. Honestly, just shut up. I don't care and I'm just trying to eat my cheesy garlic bread. <laughs> the original was just garlic bread. But honestly, cheesy garlic bread does sound good too. <laughs> Scrolling through r slash memes. No, no, no. Scrolling through r slash aromantic asexual memes. Yes, is there actually an aromantic memes and asexual memes? Because I think like most of these memes are just from the... Actually, all of them are from the... Is it... Ah, I forgot what it's called. Is it aero ace or is it aromantic asexual? It's just aromantic asexual. r slash aromantic asexual. Probably put it in the title. I'm not sure yet. But yes, way better, way more relatable. <laughs> um, some more art. Because they're bunnies, and they're really cute. Also, please pay attention to the nose. Because the nose also has the flag in it, in tiny, which is really cute. Hmm, but an indirect kiss could work. Hey, um, can I have a bite? Your rice balls look really delicious. Hey, j just a bit. No way. Sharing food, really. Well, it's not even sharing food. If you go out with someone and decide to share food, that's cool. But if someone just wants to steal your food, don't. May, may just don't. Just don't. <laughs> I saw this article in the French newspaper and it made by day. Translation. At 38, I don't feel the need to be in a relationship or to have sex, and I don't feel like I'm lacking anything. Yeah, which is kind of the point, because so many, like, aromantic or asexual people 
feel broken for so long, especially before they fight out, there is actually a word for that. And that that's just really not something wrong with them, but that's just... I don't want to say it's common, but... You know, if you feel like you're the only one experiencing something, it seems weird. But then you find out that other people go through the same thing and experience the same thing, and then suddenly it feels way more normal. And you don't feel broken anymore, you just feel... Or at least, like, you know, well, this is why I feel different. So, yeah, congrats. Um, I hope you realize before 38, because I can't imagine it's nice going through that long of your life. Thinking something is just wrong with you. But at least you know now. Um, go, go have fun and live your best life, I guess. <laughs> um, someone got an asexual t-shirt with frogs. It is the cutest thing. They look so polite. These frogs look really polite. Anyways. <laughs> Mr. Clean is neither gay, straight, nor bi. He is asexual because sex of any kind is just too dirty for him. His first love has always been cleaning. He can't even bear to be seen in anything but clean, perfectly white clothes. So it has been his whole life. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, Mr. Mr. Clean is just canonically uh, asexual now. <laughs> Reading a book with an Arise protagonist for the first time be like... Well, I mean, if we can't even, like, get representation in media of, like, in, like, TV shows or movies, at least we have books also, if you have books, or, like, book suggestions, with Arrow Ace or other queer characters that you want other people to know about, feel free to leave it in the comments. Or create a thread in this subreddit, because I feel like more people are gonna see it. You know? <laughs> Okay, claiming the A in LGBTQIA stands for ally means you aren't one. Erasing our asexual, aromantic, and agender siblings shows you don't actually respect us as a whole. Yeah. Yes. I have nothing to say to this because, yeah, that's just, that's just true. Some more art, though, because why do queer people love dragons so much? I mean... I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna like sit here and pretend like I don't. I love dragons. Dragons are like the coolest thing ever. They can fly. Come on. But anyways, why do we love dragons so much? Oh well. <laughs> On today's episode of Are the Alos Okay? People are apparently trying to free a murderer because he's too cute. You what now? I've seen this circulate because this is uh, August twenty one. It's, 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 it's a bit older, but I remember this, and I just looked at him and was like, "Dude, he doesn't even look that cute." Because I honestly, most of the time, I have no idea what people are talking about when they call someone cute. But what? Literally, crime isn't okay just because you're good looking. You know. <laughs> Okay, I know it's only August, but fun Christmas idea. Hang mistletoe, but instead of kissing, you have to fight whoever else is under it. Mistletoe. Well, someone's halls are getting decked. Well, that seems kind of, kind of, kind of fun. But also, do you really want to spend Christmas in the ER because you got into a fight with someone you you lost to? Or just because you got injured in the process anyways. Is that something you want? I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to. But Stranger Things star Noah Schnapp on Doja Cat Season 5 and World Sexuality. He is gay and he does in fact love Mike. Oh dude, I was hoping for some ace representation. Because did anyone else think my Will might be Aero Ace until last season? Yeah, honestly. I mean in season one. Who really cares? But I think, I don't know, was this... I think in season 2 it already started. That I was like, dude... Arise. Yes. But, honestly... Especially in season 4... He did kind of seem to have a thing for Mike. Yeah, that's just kinda true. <laughs> Relaxing and minding my own business as an Arise woman. Just, you know, is she chilling in a hammock? 
I don't know, it looks really cozy though. Randomly getting an impulse of urge to find out what sex is actually like. No. No. I mean, do whatever you want. If you are curious about it, then, you know, maybe go out and find someone you're like comfortable experimenting, like, wow, experimenting with, but you don't have to. You can also just wait until the urge goes away again. But honestly, I kind of get the curiosity and if you want to, you can, you know, like it doesn't mean you're not aromantic or asexual, who cares? <laughs> Okay, this would be a literal nightmare to me. Someone legit tattooed an e-girl's username on their wrist and then that person deactivate their account. Why would you even do this? This seems like another instance of, are the ALOs okay? Because this seems weird. Like, I mean, there's a lot of debate about like partner tattoos, but this is like, this is just weird. You know, because dating is just a romp for me. Read only member. I only study about it. Yeah, that just seems fair. That kind of seems fair. <laughs> now, there are actually more of these flags, but honestly, I I love playing Uno. I love playing Uno, but this seems like fun. I feel like people, I feel like Aero and Ace people have used these images for quite a while. <laughs> or just like the block card without the actual flag on it, so I really like that we have the flag now. Uh, Reddit comment, why are Reddit comment sections? Whenever you see screenshots of Reddit comment sections in s any subreddit really, it's usually not great. Usually. There are exceptions of course, but this one... So, you just wanna fuck? Uh, no, I'm asexual and aromantic. I don't have the desire to fuck or be in a romantic relationship. Or you're in denial. Why would you even say that? Because literally, even if someone would be in denial, why do you care? I get that people like calling each other out on the internet, it's kinda weird. But why would you even do this? You have no idea who this person is. Why do you, why do you feel the need to tell other random people you've never met, you've never will meet, who you don't know at all because they're on freaking Reddit? Why do you, why do you think you know anything about their life or their attractions? That makes no sense. What are you doing? Like, you know, I don't know. It's just it's. A, it seems really weird. <laughs> uh, and to finish off, we have some more art, because someone found, found a card somewhere, I think, or someone created art. I don't know, I think they created it, but hopeless, hopeless romantic. It's really cute. It's really cute. I like it. It's really pretty. Legit, I would hang like a print like this on my wall. Like with this art style. Probably in square, the corners that are cut off aren't even, so it Honestly, it would bother me, but the art style itself, I would definitely hang on my wall. <laughs> but anyways, that was all the memes and all the art. I feel like I've had videos with more art, but I've also had videos with less art. I don't know, either way, I really like the art, so there's gonna be more art. When I find art that I like, I'm gonna include it. So anyways, um, I will be back in three days with some trans memes, and maybe TikToks. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Either way, see you in three days.